Got to give it up for everybody involved in this because it felt just like Loki season one, which is great because Loki is an amazing show as it is. And I can happily say they didn't mess it up with the second season, which a lot of people were really worried about because it's a very real possibility with sequels, which just this kind of is you have to kind of treat it like a sequel because it is a season two. So anytime with a movie, they try to do a sequel or, you know, actually a lot of times with seasons when you try you know follow up they're not always as good in fact most of the time they're not as good but i can confidently say that i think fans are going to feel like this is loki season one and it's just a continuation of it especially because in episode one we pick up like right away they waste no time but they do a really good recap beforehand so those of you who don't want to sit through and watch all the episodes of loki again all nine of them you don't have to they do a really good recap tell you everything you need to know and then they just dive into it. And then it's just awesome. Like it really is. It's, it's fantastic. The first episode, I, it, I'm trying not to be a little biased here, but I feel like the first is the best. However, there is that feeling of like, oh man, this is it. Like season two, I'm so excited. And there's a lot of mystery involved, but I mean, I think episode one or episode four is the best. There's a lot that happens throughout it. And the way it ends, no spoilers, not not talking spoilers in this review. We'll do a spoiler uh, talk later on when everybody's had a chance to see episode one. But the way they end it has honestly left me with a lot of intrigue. Uh, I, I'm the guy who comes up with theories a lot and I hear a lot of things, right? A lot of people message me and I know a lot of insiders and uh, haven't heard much about the ending. And I'm real. I really don't know what it's going to be. Of course, I have thoughts on what's going to happen, but I think they do a really, really good job in each episode. So it's, I can kind of say confidently that it's not necessarily what everybody thought it was going to be when it comes to Kang variants and, and Victor timely, I will say you are seeing a different side of Victor timely than you thought you were going to see. And to me, it both made it better, but also brought a lot more curiosity to the variants of Kang and to the future of Loki season two, how it's going to end, but also to the future of like Deadpool three, because we know the TBA is going to be in that film. And then also secret wars, because it's all, it's all going to tie in, which makes it even more exciting. So episode one just starts off so good. And then two and three, they're kind of slower, just, you know, a heads up, but the tone stays the same. It's the same Loki tone that we've always felt. It feels necessary. It's not just like fillers. It's not pointless and it gets deep. That's one thing I will say. There's some really deep parts, some kind of emotional parts. And uh, you see Loki. And I think this might be one of my biggest takeaways from this is you really see Loki in a different light. They've teased that he's going to be the hero, right? And I think just Loki in general, out of all the characters in the MCU, has had a really good character arc. He's had a really good story and it's coming, you know, kind of full circle in this, right? He's, he started off as the villain and now he's the hero. He's literally trying to save the entire multiverse in this show. But at the same time, you kind of, it's kind of just like he who remains, like you kind of got to get your hands a little bit dirty in order to save the entire multiverse, right? So we see the villain come out in him and we see him embrace that while still trying to be the hero that is saving the multiverse. So it's, 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 it's really cool to see like a full circle thing. It's like villain, hero, villain, hero, villain, hero, because this show I think shows you that it's not, not so black and white sometimes, right? It's not so cut and dry. And the other characters, I got to say the supporting cast one, everybody who was there for the first season for the most part is back and they continue to crush it under B15, you know, Sylvie, Moby, Owen Wilson, just fantastic job. As Mobius, we see a different side of his character as well. And there's a good story with him that I'm really curious to see how that plays out. But then I got to give it up for Kihoi Kwan because his character, oh, and, and, and Casey, the character Casey. Uh, so Obi and Casey, they have a fantastic storyline. Um, and for those wondering about Casey, he's actually a lot more involved in this season and he's, he's really good. He really is. And in Obi or Boris, man, they did. I love how they, the direction they went with this character. He's quirky. He's funny. Uh, and that actually comes with like Victor timely as well. When they go to find him, 
that's a really interesting story and it makes you really question time. It's kind of like back to the future vibes, right? And then they just take it in a completely different direction. There's also some, you know, other villains in the show, you know, about Miss Minutes, you know, about Renslayer, Vana Renslayer. They're back in this too. And they actually play really decent parts and they make you wonder what the heck's going to happen. What's going on. And they just, this, this, this season fills you with a lot of emotions. But I think again, Loki having this, this arc to him to where he's now the hero and trying to save everybody. It just feels so good. And you're seeing a different side of him. That's just truly fantastic. It really is. It's, it's great to see. Now I've said this in my reaction video. I think the show is amazing so far. I really do. I loved it. And, and the ending of episode four left me dying to know what was going to happen next. Like really, I am, I, 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 we're going to have to wait a, a while, right? A few weeks, but I I'm dying to know what happens next. Cause I want to know how it's going to end and they have to stick the landing on the ending. They have to, that's going to be, that's going to determine if this show is like a great show or like a fantastic show on par with Loki season one so far. It is on par. It's the best thing from Marvel Studios that I've seen in a long time. Really. And I think I've enjoyed this more than I enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. <laughs> Not saying that that was a bad movie because it wasn't. It was a great movie. But I think as far as like just the experience and the enjoyment of watching it. One, everybody knows I have an aversion to like half mechanical, half living things. So Guardians 3 was a nightmare for me. But overall, that was a good film. But this is more enjoyable for me. And I and I actually think I'm on the edge of my seat more for Loki than I was for that. Because again, there's a lot of intrigue. There's a lot of just what is going to happen? What is going to happen? There's a lot of that in this. And then it's, it's more of what you love, which is the cool part. Marvel Studios they saw how amazing Loki season one was and they basically said, Hey, let's not change anything. It's amazing as it is. And people love it as it is. So just do it again. Right. And complete the story. And that's what they did, which is like, yeah, that's the move, right? We don't need to change things or go in like this other weird direction because you can, they sat there and went, give them more, write an amazing story and give them more. And I got to give it up for the writers and the director and, and everybody in the background who plays a part in this show, right? The people in charge of the set product, like everything, even like, you know, the background music, because it all really helps set the tone in a really great way for this series. So I loved it. That's what I say. I loved it. Like I said, there are some slow parts, but I love the slow parts because they're all necessary. But just the way it gets started, I can't wait for everybody to see it this week. I really am looking forward to hearing your thoughts about episode one because I think that might it might be people's favorite. Again, I haven't seen five or six yet, but so far I think one or four are my favorite. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm curious to see what everybody thinks. Uh, let me know how excited you are for Loki season two in the comments down below. Only a few days now. Catch you on the next video. Woof woof.